Good morning. You're looking at our kitchen. My wife just finished cooking breakfast. We had potato cakes, scrambled eggs, toast with jelly. Uh, if she knew that I was taking this before she got her dishes done, I would be in trouble. But what I wanted to show you this morning was our refrigerator. This is it here. This is a standard, I think it's an eight cubic foot refrigerator that we keep course our food in and so you can see the shelves the adjustable shelves this is 12 years old and uh, one time during the temperature of 15 or 115 or 116 degrees we um, I'll give you a shot of the cabinets here 115 or 116 degrees <clears throat> the freezer wasn't doing as good as it should and we began to lose milk and things of that nature and the frozen food um, unfroze and then refroze which obviously is not a good thing now I'm going to go outside and show you how we fix this problem that's my wife's little mop there that she uses when Samantha drinks her water and gets it on the floor okay here we are outside and hopefully the sun isn't ruining this but what we've done is uh, with this refrigerator you can see this is pretty common looking for uh, any RV refrigerator and we vacuum this out uh, once in a while all a couple of times a year is all and dust it and we had a problem with the water building up inside and flowing into the refrigerator and in the back of the shelf there's a cup that holds the water overflow that uh, comes from defrosting and what that does is run down a tube and what happened was this tube that you see right here was plugged up and in the end of this tube when it comes from the factory is something I think that keeps it from running too rapidly. I cut that off. It solved the problem of the water buildup. But as far as the refrigerator not freezing, what we had to do was take this in. And I shared this with my neighbors yesterday because they had the same problem. And they install a fan up in the back of the refrigerator. And that either comes on at 120 and off at 90 or you can have a uh, switch installed and you can turn it on and off yourself. Now, that's important because when, after we had that fixed, the refrigerator began to make ice again. Everything was back to normal. And for a 12 year old refrigerator, that's not too bad. This is something else that, uh, see that shelf right there? Every morning I come out and have my coffee and toast uh, and set it on that shelf. My wife joins me and we just enjoy ourselves immensely. So that's it for today. While I'm thinking about it, there's something I'd like to add. Uh, if you like what we do, subscribe if you will, please. And I want to tell you that I'm not an expert on anything. We are just people that have spent 12 years full timing and had problems and solved problems and learned this and learned that and I'm showing you now where we spent the biggest part of the summer. This is a small RV park in Mesa, Arizona. Believe it or not, it's called Green Acres if you remember that from the old TV series. And uh, people are nice. We pay about $250 a month plus electricity, which is good. Bye-bye.